If we're going to talk about health, let's find a logical starting point. We're 70% water, obviously. If we're going to talk about health, we discuss the water that we're putting into our body. We've all heard the term acid rain. Have we ever actually evaluated what acid rain meant? Let's go in and examine acid rain. Acid rain causes a cascade of effects that harms or kills individual fish. Reduced fish population numbers can completely eliminate a fish species from a body of water. It decreases biodiversity, kills crops, trees, other vegetation, eats into copper, lead, and galvanized pipes eats up buildings, automobile, monuments, statue, overpass, underpass, sidewalk, brick wall. Acid rain changed the pH of the ocean. Amber jacks and halibuts are having heart attacks and fast swimming squids are asphyxiating. Acid rain changed the pH of rivers and lakes. Hey, like, uh, don't we drink that water? Uh, yeah. Acid rain change the pH of the entire human race. When the pH of the body goes off, parasites, fungus, bacteria, viruses, moles, protozoa, all proliferate in this acidic environment, low in oxygen. Acid rain is a major problem. Remember folks, life was a no-brainer. You drank water, you ate food and you walk barefoot on the earth. It's rather complicated now and we're going to try to break it down for you so you understand you want health, the first thing you got to do is balance your pH. Let's examine tap water. Do you know that chlorine is a waste product from the alkali manufacturing business? They don't use it in our water because it's effective. They use it because it's cheap. Do you know that ozone and hydrogen peroxide were 4,000 times more effective than chlorine? Chlorine didn't do the job, so they ramped it up to something called chloramine, which is chlorine and ammonia, and it makes chlorine look like Kool-Aid. The EPA said 93% increase in cancer in people who drink chlorinated water. Come on, folks. We heard the acid rain the erosion, the hard water, okay? The disinfection byproducts, 600 chemicals, 82 hormones, steroids, antibiotics, personal care products, and drugs in the water. Tap water is a disaster. Air pollution equals water pollution, and tap water is not the best bet. Let's examine bottled water. The shelf life on bottled water is three years. The water, obviously, if it's not purified, is contaminated. And you get purified water, and there's no electrolyte salts, and left the acid in the water. So you can get spring water, or you can get purified water. Well, both of them have the acids in them, and they're both in plastic bottles, and they both have a shelf life of three years. Drinking water out of plastic bottles is not green. It's called disposable consumerism. We have gyries in the middle of the ocean. There's like eight major gyries around the planet. I think the largest one is about the size of Texas. Folks, we need to back off the plastic bottles, get green, and start checking ourselves on disposable consumerism.